Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and I'm just hanging out down here in the deep digs. Me and Robin took a day off last episode because things have been crazy, and the story has been moving, hasn't it? But I guess I guess we've taken all the time we can. We just, uh, we just woke up from a good night's sleep. And uh, guys, last time you saw this place, I hadn't decorated so much. Well, I had, but the plants weren't all grown, and the posters weren't up, so we've decorated. The place is much homier now. Everything is wonderful. We got Danielle and Sam and Potato and Sam's penguin drawing. We got even got Sam's schematics up there. Everything's great. We've got a bunch of cool stuff, but let's go ahead and grab some food. We've got so much of this Preston's plant hanging around now that uh, I really just, I, I cook a whole bunch of it and keep it ready to go down here. This is, uh, these foods, yeah, these are the best. Spicy fruit salad. Guys, Preston's plant leaf. I think I already went over this in one episode, but let's go over it again, because it's so handy. Yeah, you just cut Preston's plant with the knife. You get that leaf. You mix that leaf with uh, one of these fevered pepper trees. It's as easy as that. Cook those two together, right here in the fabricator. And, I don't know, it's just my favorite meal lately. Alright, we're good to go. That's all we need. Robin's all set. We'll grab a couple of, grab a couple of these for the road. Maybe a couple of these for the road. These are much better for water. Guys, the lantern fruit does not give any water. It actually gives a ton of body heat, though. Um, but the fevered pepper tree is one of the only foods that gives uh, water. I think the horseshoe shrub does, too. Uh, not as much, yeah. The fevered pepper tree is a really good balance of food and water if you want that. Guys, we moved all the all the fish down here. Look at that. Look at all the fishies. We have an awesome collection. We even have a grown penguin. Uh, although, okay, there he is. He's alive. For a second there, I was worried. I really was. Okay, I don't think we need anything. I think all the batteries are good. Um, now, I guess we have a slightly low battery on the Sea Glide. We'll grab one battery just to take with us. I don't think where we're going is super far away, but we will take one extra power cell just in case. Just in case we need it. Guys, all these posters are great. Make sure you, you look around on the walls everywhere you explore and pick up all the posters. I like this one in particular. It didn't mean for the tree to grow here, and I can't seem to take it down. I don't know why, but I can't seem to take this poster down. So this is where it lives. But man, that brings me back. Anyway, all right. Let's hit the road. We're leaving the deep digs behind. We don't really need the shuffle truck to be marked anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that signal. It's throwing us off a little bit. Between the hermitage and the deep digs, I can pretty much guide myself around between anything. Uh, probably a good idea for you guys to set up multiple bases or multiple beacons just to help you get yourself around. Well, we're going up to the architect phase gate facility today. We're gonna see what Alan has in store for us there. I wonder if he really will be departing. Ah, he's probably gonna have Robin go and run and do some other, some other task. Isn't that what all these guys always want us to do? That I need help. Go fetch this for me. That's all right. I like Al. Al's a cool guy. He, when while he hasn't been completely forthcoming about everything and all of his attentions, he still seems okay. I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's get up there and help him out. Everybody, hang on for the ride.
All right, guys, we're getting there, but if you can recall, we've actually been here before. Um, Alan actually told us we had to come back because there was nothing for us out there yet until we had his body. Well, now we have his body, and we're going back out this way. This is uh, really close to Outpost Zero, I do believe. Way, way, way up here in the north. And this is shallow country out here with the whole fish. You feel pretty safe with whole fish around. Stupid and delicious, isn't that what the description said? <laughs> oh, whole fish. I like whole fish because they apparently are big enough to anchor onto, so. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it changes everything when you can start using fish. Ah, there we go. Up on land again. Land crawler. Now, if I remember correctly, the last time we tried this, it wouldn't let us drop down into the phase gate, because I guess, I don't know, we're not supposed to go this way. Not supposed to go over land. Why is it always so foggy every time I come up here? Can't see anything. All right, we gotta find a, we gotta find a little hole to drop down into. This looks like it. Oh. Yep, there's a there's a game wall there. We can't can't drop down from there. No game wall here though. Alright. Alright, I think we gotta go under. There's a there should be a hole somewhere where we can pop up. Gotta be a little cave leading. There we go, I think we found it. <laughs> trying to hop around up on the land too much with the with the prawn hopper. Can't I can't help it. You know, you can go anywhere in this thing. Anywhere! Up up and away! There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember this place. You guys remember this place. I think this is actually where we got lantern fruit for the first time. I think it's also where we learned about Sam's plans and intentions for the first time. Well, that's not why we're here this time. Excuse me, little plants. So yeah, ow. What's going on up here? I vaguely remember this place. Oh, what are we stuck on? Little light, light stick. Oh yeah. Yeah, we found this a while ago. Hey, Al is here, what do you know? Oh boy, guys, big moment. Big moment. This is uh, this is gonna change some things. All right, let's not get yelled at by the PDA about our water while we're talking to Al. Hey, Alan, what is up, my Are man? You to leave, Alan? Yes, there is much to do. Whoa. All right, wow. Man, Alan's zipping around. It would have been a virus that knocked out the architects. I don't know that you could combat a species like this very well. Ah. Then again. Alan? Do you still wish to leave with me? Beyond this teleporter, there is no turning back. Are you kidding? I can't pass up a chance to see where architects come from. Besides, I don't have another ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick or angry. If they live at all. Or you could find peace. 
family. I hope you are right. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. Holy crap. I'm actually sure, now that he mentions it, I remember this being discussed, but man, I... For the moment right there, I was like, wait, Robin wants to go with him? No, actually, this was discussed some at some point. Oh my gosh, though, I totally forgot this was happening. I mean, I guess we're ready. We even have Sam's necklace, we have a little food, we have all our tools. We don't have the prawn suit! I can't bring the prawn suit with me! Prawn hopper, no! Prawn hopper! We can't, we can't leave without the prawn hopper. No! <laughs> I love the prawn hopper. Oh, guys, I don't know if I'm ready to go yet. Let's be on the gates. Let's be on the gates. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm scared, guys. We just got the deep digs. I don't want to leave. Oh, well. Wow. Should we go? Oh my gosh, there's no turning back, huh? Um. I guess we're gonna go. Oh man. Yes. Okay. I had a momentary shock there, but you know what? We're gonna go visit the architect's world. Are you kidding me? Who would pass that up? How can you pass that up? Man, you know what? I'm with Robin. It was a momentary shock, but let's do this. Let's go help Alan. He needs help, apparently. He's only good at pushing buttons and zipping around in his laboratories. No, he'll probably help us more. Oh, man. Well, here we go. Stepping through to another world. Okay. Whoa. Alan, how is everything? Whoa. Hey, it's another ice planet. Robin, you're just in time. The phase gate is opening. Oh, we haven't left yet. Got it. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time. Only for the last millennium. <laughs> it will lead us home. No wonder you hid yourself from Altera. It was imperative to keep the home world safe. In hopes that the others survived. Yeah. Help me prepare the ship. The energy masks must be moved into place. Well, this is different. Whoa, he gave us his arms. Why do I feel like my very own prawn suit all of a sudden? Whoa, we have like lower gravity? Yeah, we like slow falling. All right, Al. What do you need me to do? Oh, maybe one of those? They look falling down, yeah. Ah, all right. Come on. Oh, whoa. Robin, do you know how to control this thing? Should have read the tutorial first. Where's the instruction booklet? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, one more. Oh man, look at this thing.
Hey, Robin, grab it, Robin! Okay. Jeez. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I don't want to be down here. Return to me and I will initiate ship assembly. Oh, man. All right, Al. What's next? Return arms. Oh, well. Thank you. The masks are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. Wow, man. Al, how are you so fast? Oh, hey. <gasps> what is going on? Did you just construct a spaceship? Or a capsule? More like a capsule. No, it's a ship. Join me, Robin. Oh, guys, this is crazy. Whoa, too much. Ow, jeez. I apologize. The levitator was calibrated for heavier bodies. I would have helped you to your feet, but as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Is this permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yeah. You could say that. Ready to leave the past behind. Good. Please brace yourself, and then we will depart. Yeah, I was gonna say, this looks like the only spot in the room to brace. Ah. Okay, guys, I guess this is it. We're departing. Al, I hope you know what you're doing. Launching in three, two... One. Okay. I'm glad he's turning around. For some reason, I thought he would just take off backwards. I mean, I guess it'd be all the same to him. He's the ship, right? Sensors everywhere. Oh, man. Oh, we are leaving this system. Maybe this galaxy. Oh. Oh, crap. Alan? What will we find when we get there? If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of 10,000 souls, Dimmy. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, my gosh, guys. We're jumping again. How far away have we traveled? I guess that's kind of irrelevant. Oh man. Look at these mega structures. And if they survived? With you, I am ready to face whatever awaits. Oh man, that was it. Guys, we did it. Robin and Alan have gone back to his home world. And we're just gonna be left with that cliffhanger. All right, so now we need a third one on Alan's home world, right? That's coming, right? That's gonna happen, right? Because that would be wild and awesome. Thank all of you for making this game. Oh, that was wicked. Oh, I live for endings, you know? There's always just this awesome feeling when you beat a game. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. That was great. Thank you so much for coming with me on this experience, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the series. You know, that, that really does wrap it up, doesn't it? I guess that's it. We did it, though. 
Man, we found out what happened to Sam. We made our peace with it. We helped Alan out of our heads. And then we helped him find his way home. And then we went home with him. Oh, I still can't get over that. That is so cool. What a journey. Robin, man. Oh, yeah, she's going to have a great time out there. It's going to be so cool. Although, Alan needs to get used to having a human around. All right, tone the teleporters down. Tone the, the transporter and the, and, the, and the lifts, you know, like tune it down a little bit. My gosh. Oh. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, man. YouTubers and streamers. Man. One of these days, guys, we'll be on one of those lists. What do you think? Huh? Because I would love that. I would love that so much. Man. What a game. Well, guys, thank you again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the series. Do me a favor. Smash that like button if you had a good time hanging out with me today. And I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.